Hey Peter, welcome back to your roots, the Holiday Inn in Waterville. My name is Greg Dougal and I'm the Executive Director of the Maine Innkeepers Association and I was very honored when I was asked by Von Sinson to uh, be part of this presentation to Peter Daigle because uh, he means so much to all of us, uh, especially in the lodging community. Congratulations to Peter Daigle on being inducted into the Hall of Fame of the Maine Tourism Association. He is another example of a hard-working, honest, Aroostook County man who has become a leader in the tourism community in Maine. Well, Peter, congratulations. We are so proud of you. This couldn't have happened to a better person, a nicer person, and certainly someone that deserves it. Well, congratulations, Peter, on, on winning the Maine Tourism Hall of Fame Award. Well deserved. Congratulations, Peter, on the Hall of Fame Award. I can't think of anybody else that would deserves it more than you. I also want to thank you for your friendship for almost 40 years and your mentoring. Without you, I don't think my career would have been as successful and certainly retirement wouldn't be as much fun. Hi, Peter. I just want to congratulate you. A well-deserved award. Um, you know, a little bit of history about you and I. I remember the first time that I ever met you, you were wearing a petticoat and dancing at the main innkeeper's first annual meeting I ever went to about 30 years ago. Um, I didn't know how close I wanted to be with you at that time. Over time, I've improved, and, I, and I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I remember uh, early days saying to Ed Langloy, who is this guy anyway? And Ed assured me, because I wasn't too sure, but Ed assured me that you were going to be something to watch, somebody to watch, uh, to uh, see how it goes as we move on with the association, that you would be, you would be a good person to uh, pay attention There's to. There's a lot of people that I think would like to be here. So what I've done is I've contributed some bricks. And, you know, I, I think back at everything that's happened and all the people that you've met through your job and all the, all the lives that you've changed and had, you've led the way for main innkeepers to uh, leave a legacy. So Peter, for everybody who you have influenced, if they all contributed one brick, we would have an incredible Hall of Fame for you. I just need to ask Vaughn where he's going to put it. I want to thank you for the untold number of hours that you've spent in the legislature on our behalf and on behalf of the industry as a whole. Uh, we can't begin to repay you for all of the work that you did on for us during those times and that you continue to do for us. Legislatively, uh, I don't know how I would survive without Peter. Peter's been the legislative chair for this organization for uh, the last 25 years or more. Um, during the session, we speak mostly on a daily basis, and it wouldn't be a day in the life of this executive director if I didn't get the call that said, Dougal, Daigle. He is also very active in giving back, whether it was president of the Maine Innkeepers or president of the Bangor Chamber of Commerce. He has been recognized by several governors for his leadership abilities and served many years on the Maine Tourism Commission. He has given thousands of dollars to the local cancer center and regularly donates to numerous charitable groups. I could spend hours listing his many achievements, but we would be here all night. I want to tell you that, um, you know, for, I remember you gave me a chance when I was in my 20s to do some work for the Maine and Keepers Board, and I was a, I was a ch committee chair. It meant a lot to me, and it, and it kind of started me in the direction. And you and I have become f great friends, and we have great memories of our friend Ed Langlois. There's pictures on the wall here. What I want to share with you is something that I have always kept very close and have never given it away. It's my first Aaron Dollar. And if I look on my Aaron Dollar, it's dated August 26 of 1985. This is one of the great programs that you originated for us, and with many others, our Supervisor Awards, our Aaron Dollars, our Key Club, all of those great things that you did because the employees were always number one. Thank you so much and congratulations. Uh, so congratulations to you on this very well-deserved honor on this um, very happy day. Congratulations, Peter. Congratulations again, it's well-deserved. So I guess, uh, mon frère Pierre, c'est mon plaisir à vous fêter. Congratulations, welcome to the Hall of Fame. <laughs>